Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to round to the nearest thousand in Excel. Excel is frequently used for calculations and has many functions and supports all the mathematical operators. You will need to very often round off a number when you're using Excel. Of course, rounding off is more common when you're trying to uh, reduce the number of decimal places or trying to uh, create a decimal, make a decimal number uh, into a whole number. But there may be cases where you need to round off to uh, other values, such as round off to the nearest thousand or to the nearest uh, hundred. This is uh, especially done when you're comparing data, uh, which is a little too detailed, and you would prefer to have an approximation of the numbers, especially when making a presentation or a report. So in this example, we have sales figures for many regions. And being as they are actual figures, we can see that they're a little detailed. So I would like to round this off to the nearest thousand to get a better idea and make it easier to compare between the regions and the quarters. So in Excel, there are four functions you can use to do this. And let's look at them one by one. The first one is the round function. The argument it takes is the number. And uh, then the number of digits is actually the number of decimal places. That is uh, after the to the right of the decimal point. But here I want to round off to the nearest thousand. So that's to the left of the decimal point. So I will make it minus three. Because it is minus, it's the third place to the left of the decimal point. And press enter. And I can see that it's been rounded off to the nearest thousand. Round uh, Rounds of the number either up or down, uh, depending on its value. I can now drag the fill handle down to copy the formula to the rest of the cells. Now the next one is round up. This also takes the number and again I use a minus sign since it is for the thousands and I can copy this down. Now round up of course rounds up to the nearest thousand. Uh, see for example one uh, this one two eight becomes one two nine. The third one is round down and this takes the number and again a minus 3 and this rounds the number down. So 158240 uh, becomes 158000, uh, 158000. So I can select that cell and then drag this down. The last one is M round which works slightly uh, differently. This also takes the number as an argument and here I need to give the multiple. So I directly type 1000 saying that I want it to be rounded off to the nearest 1000. This also follows the basic rules of rounding that is it rounds either up or down depending on the number. And I can drag this uh, down to the rest of the column. Now it is not always necessary to create a new column. You can always just add this round function to the number itself instead of creating a, a separate column with a cell reference. I have done this only for the purpose of illustration so that uh, we can understand how the rounding is done and uh, compare it with the original numbers. But uh, if you want to do this if you in the, within the table itself, you can just add the round function uh, to the uh, cell itself. So instead of uh, here B2, you would have the actual value itself. This is how to round to the nearest thousand in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.